Hey everybody, Chris McGraw here from Almost Adventurous. Um, I'm in yet another pair of ski slash snowboard bibs from Patagonia. This time, this is a used pair that I picked up for less than $60. I believe it was $55-ish. Um, and these are the three-layer Gore-Tex Pro Pow Slayer bibs. Uh, these are not brand new. These are used, which is a good thing for me. I like to pick up used gear as much as possible rather than buy new, but I did need a set of bibs for this winter. So I had originally picked up two pair of new bibs from Patagonia, the Snow Drifter and the Powder Town before I found these. And let me tell you for my use case, man, am I glad that I found these. Not only were they less than a quarter of the price of the other ones which were on sale, um, they just fit my needs a lot better. Uh, so let's just do a quick run through of kind of like the fit, uh, the material, where the pockets are, all the features, that uh, sort of a thing. So we got a nice snap here with a zipper fly that opens up and closes. We have two hand pockets here that are pretty good size. Um, they're not as large as, say, the um, Patagonia Snow Drifter bibs pockets. Uh, that being said, they're larger than the Powder Town pockets. So they're kind of a happy medium, though when it comes to pockets, uh, for me, bigger is always better. So uh, second place, we'll say, out of the three. Um, but we also have cargo pockets, which is something the other two did not have. Um, and so while we do not have rear pockets in these bibs we have two cargo pockets which i really like for some reason patagonia tends to do this sort of asymmetrical design thing i don't know if it's weight savings or what um with a lot of their pants like the Al via alpine pants and um the field pants uh where they have usually have like one cargo pocket on one side and not on the other which i find really frustrating because like the more pockets the better usually um so wallet keys that sort of thing there uh, one thing I really like about these is while the newer bibs come up a lot higher, almost like uh, waders, fly fishing waders, uh, this one's a little bit lower. It's still enough coverage for me, especially on the sides. It's almost similar, um, but it doesn't come up as far, which I like that a lot. Uh, that does mean you don't have a pocket here, but I think the cargo pockets make up for it. As far as zippers on the sides, really long zippers on the sides for venting. And for getting in, look at how long those are. That's great. Got the same thing on this side. And the zippers, this is a 10 year old pair of bibs and everything just feels bomb proof on these. I mean, these were the highest end at the time. I think they cost $5.99. Um, so really, if you think about it, it's like almost, uh, yeah, like 90% off the retail price. Um, the gaiters do not have a hook to hook into your uh, snowboarding boots, uh, which can be a problem. So if they start riding up in the back country, get snow in your boots, that's never good. So that would be something that maybe I can add later, uh, but it would have been nice if it came with it. Um, we have the tear resistant material here as well, a gusseted crotch. And for me, I'm five foot seven, have a shorter inseam. Um, these in size medium lengthwise fit me perfectly. The other ones were quite a bit longer. Uh, I have heard from taller people that that is an issue with the Power, Pow Slayer bibs, especially this generation. Um, but like I said, for my use case, it's perfect. Uh, another thing is that these straps are a lot thicker and more easily adjustable than the ones on the newer bibs, which are a lot thinner, which I mean, that may be a weight saving thing, but um, I'm not counting grams a whole lot, so uh, it's not too much of an issue for me. And then, of course, we have belt loops here. Um, let me do it, just a little spin. Like I said, no pockets in the back, really nothing in the back. And then we do have, uh, just like all the um, pants, we have a uh, Reco reflector as well. So that is the Pow Slayer. Um, they're also this cool orange color uh, compared to the teal in the other two pants that I have reviewed. And while my jacket is purple and teal and purple are my favorite color combination, uh, my second favorite color combination is purple and orange. So it worked out pretty nicely for me. I'll save myself about $150 
and I bought something used, giving it new life, and I'm really looking forward to hitting the mountain in these bibs. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, it's always nice for me to see somebody actually in the clothing, especially when I'm buying something online rather than having to buy it and then return it. And that can be kind of a hassle depending on where you get it. So hope, hopefully you find this helpful and uh, get outside, get on the slopes, have a good rest of your winter and spring is just around the corner.